Sid's going off script. Somehow I was doing the interview and then you like took over. Like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> so you're interviewing me today. I am the interviewer today. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, so when designing a home um, for clients or for yourself, where do you find inspiration and in, in, in setting the tone for, for the design? Nature is my biggest source of inspiration. Like I love to look at florals and floral arrangements and see how the colors work together. And that usually serves as a really great jumping off point for me. And I love organic textures as well. And so again, that like influences how I incorporate like smooth and rough tones together in a space. So what are some things in the design world that you're gravitating or liking right now? I am loving like deep, rich tones on velvets and mohairs. We are launching like this sofa that you'll see in this really deep green and new fabrics like mohair velvets that, I mean, they're just like luxe. We're seeing heavy textures like stone walls brought into the interiors of spaces, but also stone materials in our furniture pieces. Loving travertine because it has that warmth, sculptural pieces. If you guys needed to use me to do like a stone bust, I can be a model. I love ceramics and the you know interest that they bring, but I'm also loving like colored glass and interesting glass textures. I think they just bring a different material quality to a lot of the heaviness of the stone and, and the velvets. Do you feel like some things are, are trendy and, and there are things that this year are more trendy that you're taking inspiration from? I love to mix classic pieces with a little bit of a trend. And so what we used to see as like bright, bright whites are now like creamier and warmer tones. We used to see a ton of like cool grays and now we see more rich brown tones and and mixing like light woods and dark woods together it's not all light and so that richness was a big inspiration for our latest collection. So what advice would you give to somebody that wants to keep their space fresh every year but maybe wouldn't want to necessarily do a total overhaul? I think there's something to be said for just making those decisions that kind of evolve and grow with you and then that way your home doesn't look like it's stuck in one specific year. I think that just one piece at a time, investing in, a, in pieces that are the main pieces of a room, whether that's a beautiful dining table and then you change up your chairs, you don't have to do everything at once, but I think that homes, homes should evolve over time. When we design our upholstery. Did you hear that? <laughs> uh, snack time. <laughs> When we design our upholstery, like I want it to have staying power. And so investing in nice quality upholstery pieces and large scale furniture gives you a foundation to switch out those lamps, switch out the bedding and the rugs. But if you held onto that floral sofa that you had growing up long enough, kind of, kind of was cool, Grandma Sheep. The floral sofa that we had growing up is actually probably cool if again. If you would have kept it wrapped in plastic. Yeah. Is it difficult to come up with and create all this new product when our home is already finished? We just shared my studio, you know, which was the last part of the home to be complete. And now I'm kind of like ready to just do another lap. We launch many collections every year. So how do you distinguish one from the next? I want to be able to pick classic pieces that go in the home, but I also like things to evolve and change. And so, Big pieces I try to keep as timeless as possible. And then in all of the accents, I'm thinking about textures. And the fall and winter time, I'm thinking about velvets and boucles and just heavier textures and warmer tones. Even little details like on these chairs, this little like finial detail, it is an accent that I think just like adds that little bit extra. Well, that's all we have for you today. I don't know who's up next week, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have someone good. Probably me again. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably Shay. She's the easiest to book right now. <laughs> Does kind of feel like we're on a talk show right now. <laughs> Hopefully an award-winning one. Uh -huh. yeah. That's a wrap.